October is Eye Health Month and the Canadian Association of Optometrists uses this annual opportunity to raise public awareness about the importance of eye health among all Canadians. We are joined in studio now by Dr. Riaz Ahmed to talk about what Eye Health Month really is all about. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So give me, Eye Health Month like we were just talking about has been yeah. around for a really long time. Give me kind of the number one thing you guys try to get across sure. during October? The main thing with Eye Health Month is a chance for us to educate Canadians as to the importance of regular eye care. Okay. Um, people don't, don't think twice about going to see their dentist regularly or their uh, you know, family doctor regularly. We want to make sure that people are seeing their eye doctor regularly because a lot of eye disease doesn't have symptoms. And if you're just going in to see the eye doctor when you need new glasses, we're not going to be able to catch these things before they're too late to treat. Okay, so yeah, most people, unless they have a problem yeah. or they're getting the severe headaches or something like that, they don't even think about going For in. For sure, there was a study done that showed that the majority of Canadians, especially men, don't think to go see the eye doctor unless they have eye problems, eye symptoms, or uh, need new glasses, whereas we're trying to make it regular so we can catch a lot of these things before, uh, before like I say, they get too late to treat. So what are some of the things that, that, that they might have that they would n wouldn't see any symptoms for? Well, the majority of major eye disease is age-related, so the older you get, the more important it is to have regular okay. eye care, but younger people can still have issues with eye disease. Um, as far as getting older, the majority of, of blindness-related diseases are things like macular degeneration, which is uh, deterioration of central vision, okay. glaucoma, which uh, slowly reduces your vision from the outside in, so you end up with tunnel vision if it's untreated, and cataracts, of course. And um, so, uh, again, if these things are caught early, very, very treatable. Um, once they get to a stage where you have serious damage to the eye, we can't treat these things. So. Okay, yeah. so what, there are some guidelines of ages and how often people should be going. Yeah. What, run that for, sure. for us. Um, the first eye exam should be at age six months. Okay. And the reason for that is that if there's a lazy eye or some sort of um, issue that needs to be treated, it can't be treated after the age of about eight or nine. Okay. So it's important to kind of get in early. And so a lot of parents don't know when to bring their kids in. So six months for the first one, okay. then generally age three, okay. then once a year through the grade school years. And then for adults, unless there's something that we notice or if there's a risk factor, generally every two years. Um, for some patients, we do suggest once a year if there are some problems. Um, and then for seniors, once you get sort of over 55, 60, then we again uh, suggest once a year. Because again, the eye disease uh, risks increase with age. Okay. Yeah. What, are, uh, what are some of the... I guess some of the misconceptions obviously are if you don't you don't feel something wrong, nothing's wrong. What are some of the other misconceptions about yeah. coming to the eye doctor? Well, a lot of people say, you know, I have perfect vision. I don't need to see the eye doctor. Okay. Or, uh, you know, they'll come in. A lot of people, their first eye exam will be at age 45 when all of a sudden they can't read. And they think, oh my God, I'm going blind. Something's wrong. And so we just want to stress that, you know, it's normal to start to lose your focusing ability in your mid-40s. Okay. But that's unrelated to eye disease. Okay. So some people have, have great focusing and have eye disease. Other people have terrible eyes but don't have eye disease. Disease. So right. the two are very unrelated, and unless we look inside the eye, there's there's uh, um, no way we'll be able to find out what's wrong. Are there besides making an appointment to go see the eye doctor? Are there other things we could be doing at home or in day-to-day -day life to make sure we're keeping For our sure. eyes healthy? For sure. And again, like we talked about those diseases earlier, um, macular degeneration. There are a lot of controllable risk factors. So even though age and genetics plays a big role, um, things like UV protection, so wearing sunglasses, um, UV has been shown to slow down uh, not only macular degeneration but also cataract formation. The other thing that's important is smoking. Smoking will increase your risk of macular degeneration by six times. So if you need another reason to quit, there it is. And, and um, there's other things like diet. Antioxidant vitamins have been shown to slow down the progression. And again, we'll discuss all these things in the office because we can tell you what risk factors are beyond your control and which ones you can control. So if, as if someone needed another reason to quit smoking, there's That's a another big one. one. Yeah. Wow. And also sunglasses. A lot of people, especially kids, right. you know, we don't think, okay, the kids are playing in the yard, mm -hmm. but uh, the majority of UV damage is done before the age of 18, so it's important to get your kids into uh, sunglasses as mm -hmm. well. So when you're taking yeah. care of their skin and they're slapping that um, yeah. sunscreen Sometimes on Sometimes the them, eyes are the eyes are just forgotten. as important. Yeah, and it is uh, very important to do that. Yeah. Okay, so what, if you had one, uh, one tip for Eye Health Month for everyone, it's just get in and see that, see see that the optometrist? Eye doctor, absolutely. Just don't neglect it. You know, if you're, you know, th you think in three years, four years, oh, I better get in. We don't want that. You know, definitely make it uh, just like your dentist and schedule it in and try and get in once every one to two years, depending on uh, on what the doctor tells you. And like you said, if, you, if they find a problem, chances are it's too late already. Well, yeah, and, and we want to get them early before because technology's changed so much in the past few years. We can treat a lot of these things that we couldn't treat even 10 years ago. Okay, well, yeah. thanks for coming in, Dr. Armand. Thanks very much. Well, as if you needed any more reason to take care of your eyes, there's quite a few more. For more information on eye health, you can visit www.opto.ca. We're back after this.
one.